Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. So, ang topic natin ngayon ay Approximate Measurement. So, direct measurement, it is made when you use some common measuring tools to measure an object, length, weight, volume, time, angle, temperature, and weight or speed. Direct measurement, since there, there may be errors when applying the methods of direct measurement and there are limits in the degree of accuracy of the measuring tools, the result of all direct measurements are an approximation only. According to the Oxford Dictionary, approximation is the value or quantity that is nearly but not exactly correct. So, ibig sabihin na approximation, uh, parang tinatansya mo na, hindi siya talaga yung exact of the For example, in figure number one, we have the privilege card. So, sinukat siya through ruler, so, Emman uses a ruler that only has centimeter markings to measure the width of the privileged car. Emman finds out that it, it lies between 5 cm and 6 cm. But it is closer to 5 cm. So, he says that the width of the privileged car is about 5 cm. Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, hindi siya exact. 5 centimeters, so may sobra siyang content, meaning approximation lang siya. So, it's all about 5 centimeters, so over 5 centimeters. Then, next, in figure number 2, Lito tries to measure the same privilege card with a ruler with different markings. So, ito yung isang klase ng ruler na may maliliit isa kasi, centimeter lang, wala siya ibang. So, ito lang naman ito. And then, each centimeter is divided into the term equal parts. It finds that the width of a privilege card lies between 5.1 centimeter and 5.2 centimeter. So, makikita nyo, hindi siya eksakto na sa 5.2 at hindi rin eksakto na sa 5.2. Nasa gitna, but it's closer to 5.2 cm. So he says that the width of the privileged card is about 5.2 cm. So, silang dalawa, si Lito tsaka si Emma, same card yung sinukat nila, but in different ruler. Yung ruler na isa, wala siyang millimeter, yung ang punghati na gulo. And then, yung isa, meron. So, nakuha niya yung yung millimeter niya. And, pero hindi pa rin eksakto yung sagot nila. Puro approximation. So, notice that Eman used a ruler in which the distance between the successive markings is 1 cm. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung ginamit na ruler ni Eman. Wala siyang millimeter. Centimeter lang. And then, we say, we can say that Eman's measurement is correct if rounded to the nearest centimeter. So, sa kanilang dalawa ni Lito, mas uh, maganda o mas malapit doon sa totoong sukat ng card doon sa, sa ginawa ni Eman. Kasi dito sa similarly, since the distance between the successive markings on Lito's ruler is 0.1 cm, we can also says that his measurement is correct. So, mas sabi din daw na correct din sa dito if from the to the nearest tenths naman siya. So, Paras lang sila, pero paras lang din nag-approximate, walang eksakto. Pero nearly o uh, malapit lang o closest to the real answer. Then, but if we are looking for the real measurement of the width of the privileged card, they are both wrong because it is not equal to 5 cm or 5.2 cm. Kung approximation, pwede silang tama talaga, pero kung Kung talagang kukunin natin yung real measurement, parang sila ang talaga. Uh, this is the importance of using the word approximate. So, whose measurement is more accurate? Lito's measurement is more accurate than Emma's measurement. 
because his ruler is more precise than Emma's meaning. So, ibig sabihin, mas may edge yung sukat ni Lito kaysa kay Emma. The more precise the measuring tools we use, the more accurate results we can obtain. So, kung mas maganda yung measuring tools na gagamitin natin, mas accurate yung mga buwan approximating measures of the quantities, we must consider the appro appropriate unit to be used. Using other units of measures to describe a quantity gives either very small or very large number value. It becomes difficult to estimate the magnitude of the quantity in an appropriate units are used. Here are some examples of different quantities and appro appropriate units to be used. So we have four columns table. So we have the first one is quantity, the second is appropriate unit of measure, quantity again, and then appropriate unit of measure. Distance between two cities. So ang um, pwede natin gamitin na unit dyan is miles or kilometers kasi masyado silang malalayo. Two cities yun eh. And then yung height of a person, pwede tayong gumamit ng feet and inches or centimeters. Hindi pwede yung kilometers kasi masyado ng mahabay. So, also, sa height ng person, pwede tayong gumamit ng feet and inches or centimeters. Weight of a person. So, timbang na isang tao, pwede yung pounds, pwede yung kilograms. Capacity of milk bottle or yung sukat ng, ng laman ng isang bote. So, liters pwede yun. Area of a football field, yung pinaglalaroan ng football. Square meter or square feet, yun yung unit na appropriate sa kanya. Yung size ng paper, pwedeng inches or centimeters. Yung body temperature, pwedeng Celsius. Sa ibang basa, ginagamit nila Fahrenheit. Pero tayo dito, ginagamit natin Celsius. Yung lifespan or age, years. Speed of a vehicle, pwede siyang kilometer per hour. Then measure of an angle, that is degree. And then duration, seconds, minutes, or hours. Ibig sabihin ng duration kasi yung tinagal niya. And then depth of ocean, yung lalim, meters or feet. Okay. So examples, choose the most sensible approximate length of the following. So, kung yung lizard, anong unit kaya ang pwede natin gamitin sa kanya? Is it 19 cm, 19 mm, 19 meter, or 19 kilometer? So, ano ba pwede approximate ng sukat ng isang lizard o isang butikin? So, that is 19 cm. So, hindi pwede yung millimeter masyadong maliit. Yung meter naman masyadong malaki pati yung kilometer. And then, explanation. 19 mm is less than the size of an adult's thumb. 19 meter is too long for the length of the lizard because 1 meter is approximately the length from your shoulder to your fingertip. So, when your arm is outstretched. 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. So, masyado na siyang mahaba. Then, another one is mouse. So, alin kaya dyan ang sukat na? Definitely, that is 100 mm. Why? 100 cm is approximately 3 rulers. Yung sa centimeter ang 3, 3 rulers ang katumbas na. Yung 10 dm naman is equal to 100 cm. So, pares lang sila. And then, 1 meter is equal to 100 cm. So, meaning, ang fit lang sa kanya is 100 Bowling ball. Yung bola ng bowling. So, ilang kilo kaya siya? So, that is 7,260 grams. Yun yung duck pin na tinatawag. So, 7,260 kilogram is approximately weight of 140 adults. So, masyado mabigat. Hindi natin kaya buhatin yung para iba to sa bowling pin. Kung ganyan kabigat yung bowling ball. So, 7,260 mg is approximately weight of 15 cups. So, pag milligram naman, sobrang gaang naman niya. Parang, parang kasi bigat na siyang 15 cups. So, ito nang gabi. And 
then next, a uh, bunch of broccoli. Yan ang timbang kaya niya. That is 6 kg. So, 6 gram is usually 12 pieces of 500 mg cups. So, so, pag grams, maliliit masyado. Pag milligram, mas lalong maliit. Isang puri ng gamot lang siya. So, volume naman tayo. Laman ng, two, laman ng isang lalagyan. So, for example, water in an Olympic size pool. So, alin kaya dyan? 2 million per thousand liter or 2 million per so that is liter. Para mapuno yung isang sinu. So 2, 2, 2 million per hundred thousand ml is equal to 200, 2,500 bottles of 1 liter po. So masyadong liit. So um, definitely, ang um, bagay sa kanya is 2 million per hundred thousand liters. Para mapuno yung isang Olympic size sinu. Time between November 12, 2014 and May 6. Solution. Approximate time 18 days before the December, then plus 6 days after April. That is 18 plus 6, that is 24 days. Then continuing the number of months from December, January, February, March, April. So 5 months and 24 days. Okay. Bini lang natin yung mula November 12 hanggang. November 30, that is 18 days. Then yung 6 days na May. So yung between niya na months, that is December, January, February, March, April, 5 months yun, plus yung 24 days. So 5 times 30 days, plus 24 days, that is 120 days. Yan yung approximate time. And then we have an exact time. So November 30 days, so, November 30 days na mabilang nun. So, 30 minus 12, that is 18 days. Plus yung December na 31 days. Plus February 28 days. March 31 days. April 30 days. Plus May 6 days. So, 18 plus 31 plus 31 plus 28 plus 31 plus 30 plus 6 is equal to 178 days. So, this is the exact date yung kanina. That is the approximate days lang. Next, number 5. This approximate the measure of the given angle. Kung titignan mo lang siya, titignan mo lang siya, parang 45 degree. So, using, pero pag nag-using a protractor ka, ang exacto talaga niya is 45 degree. Then, choose the most sensible approximate temperature of the following. So, yung ice cream, ano kaya ang measure? Ano kaya ang temperature niya? Since malamig ang ice cream, that is 3 degrees Celsius. How about yung hot soup? Hot niya. So meaning, that is 45 degrees Celsius. And then, Mike's car leaves the house at 8 a.m. and reaches a town 120 kilometer away from the house at 10.30 a.m. So approximately, what is the car speed? So, nagbiyahe si Mike using his car ng mali siya ng alas 8, dumating siya sa pupuntahan niya ng 10.30 na may layong 120 km. So, ilan kaya ang speed niya? So, ang solution in getting the speed, we use the formula distance divided by time. So, yung from 8 to 10.30, so nagbiyahe siya ng 2.5 hours. So, therefore, yung distance natin is 120, so divided by 2.5, so the answer is 48. So, the car speed is approximately 48 kilometers per hour. So, that's all. Plus, thank you and...